you've heard the word buffer. Now here's what it is. A buffer is a chemical system that resists a change in pH when you add reasonable small quantities of strong acid or strong base to them, or weak acid or weak base. They don't change their pH uh, when you add small quantities of those chemicals. Now, um, so, so, so what is a buffer? What is this chemical system? It's a mixture always of two things. It's a weak acid and its conjugate base ion, or we call it the salt of its conjugate base. So a weak acid and the salt of its conjugate base. You mix those two chemicals together, you're going to make a buffer, and you're going to make a solution that resists a change in pH. So, um, here is, uh, and now, by, by the way, you know, if you, you have a buffer in your body, which is actually a mixture of a weak acid and a conjugate base, not this one necessarily, but one that's actually got, uh, uh, it, it's carbonic acid mixed with sodium bicarbonate. This one happens to be the, the example we're going to be doing is acetic acid with sodium acetate. There's a weak acid and the salt of its conjugate base. The buffer in our body is the carbonic acid sodium bicarbonate buffer. And what that is, is it's a solution that resists a change in pH. So you can drink some orange juice in the morning and not die. Where your enzymes denature. If there's a change in pH in your bloodstream, and you, your enzymes, of course, do things for you, and when they can't do things for you because they're denatured, you're going to die. You see? But the point is that because you have CO2 that you produce in your body cells, and you've got to get that CO2 into your lungs to breathe out, that CO2 dissolves into your blood as, carbon, as, as carbonic acid, right? CO2 and H2O, carbonic acid forms a buffer system which resists a change in pH so when you drink acids and bases like coffee and, and, and teas and, and pop, you don't die because that change in pH that you think is going to happen when you imbibe those acids into your body, no change happens because of a buffer system that occurs. Oh, you're beautifully made. Now here's the thing. Here is what you do to write the equation for a buffer. Take the weak acid, whatever weak acid you're given, and just add it to water. And then transfer the proton from the weak acid to the water. Look, so if somebody says, I got the acetic acid sodium acetate buffer, what do you do? Take the weak acid, add it to water. That's an equilibrium reaction. Transfer the proton from the weak acid to the water to make hydronium and acetate ion. If you've got enough of these two chemicals in the solution mixed together, you have a good buffer capacity to be able to absorb excess hydronium or hydroxide ions when they're added. What's the mechanism by which the pH remains constant? Very simple to understand because it's an equilibrium. If you add acid to this, so you pour in some acid, what are you doing? Well, you're adding hydronium to this reaction right here, and which way does the reaction shift? If you add this, the reaction shifts to the left. Right? Here's the thing. If you add hydronium, that hydronium that you added gets consumed to be able to then reform these reactants in this equilibrium, thereby negating the accumulation of the hydronium and keeping pH relatively constant. That's very cool. Now, what if you add a strong base? Well, you know, conversely, here's what happens. If you're adding hydroxide ions, you're going to react with hydronium again could be reacting with this, but most impressively, you react with the hydronium, thereby removing the hydronium from this reaction, right? If you remove the hydronium, the reaction shifts to the right to make more hydronium and maintains the pH. That's the mechanism by which buffers operate. So again, buffers resist the change in pH when small amounts, small amounts of acid or base are added, because large amounts then start to, if you, needed, if you added a lot of acid here and you reacted this way, you're going to be limited by, in terms of buffer capacity by the amount of acetate you have. And if you keep adding acid and it keeps shifting this way and you use this up, then bang, your buffer capacity is gone and all of a sudden the pH changes like crazy. Buffers maintain a constant pH when you add small amounts of hydronium, acid, or hydroxide into that reaction. And this is the mechanism by which it operates.